Question 8. When you factorise, you look for the highest common factor. The only number that goes into 1x cubed and 5x is 1, so I take the 1 out wouldn't change it. But there's an x in both of them, so if I divide it by x, I can take the x out. How many x is an x cubed? There's 3 there, and now I've taken 1 off, so that leaves me with x squared. This take away. How many x is in 5x? I've taken the x out, so I'm left with a 5. When I'm expanding and simplify, you do, if you line them up, right, you do something called FOIL, right, so it's the first one first, so it's 2x times x is 2x squared, then the outer one, 2x times 4 is 8x, then the inside, minus 3 times x is minus 3x, and then the last one, minus 3 times 4 is minus 12. And you're left with 2x squared minus 12 because they've only turned to the x squared and that's the only number on its own. And we can collect the middle one together then. 8x take away 3x is 5x. So plus 5x goes in the middle. Part C factorise. You're looking for two numbers. Then multiply to give me the end bit minus 28. And add to give me the middle bit which is minus 3. So all that means is because it's a minus, the only way you get a minus is a minus and a plus. Minus times a plus is a minus. So what two numbers times to give me 28, then got a difference of 3. 7 fours. So it's either going to be minus 7 plus 4 or plus 7 minus 4. To make the minus 3, 7 take away 4 is plus 3. So it's not that one, it's going to be this one. So then you write there's a bracket. So x minus 7, x plus 4.